you go chase those. I might do something. Ooh. That's the one. Yeah. Go down. Come on. He thudded it. Yes, he did. It's nice when you feel it through the bites. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh. Well, he's in the stuff. Well, River Rats, we are in one of my favorite places in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> the company, I don't know if it's my favorite company, but they're tolerable. <laughs> it is, <you> <laughs> <laughs> We're going to try to get them. So let's go. What do you think? What are you feeling? Well, if there ain't biting right now, I might as well set up, huh? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'd say set stuff up like right in here. I'm probably gonna sleep right there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not too bad right here. It'll hold the cot. Just don't roll it this way. Okay. This okay. Way. Noted. Oh yeah, that's plenty solid. Now the path there, not as much. You gonna want a tent or you wanna sleep under the stars? Doesn't matter to me. We don't seem too buggy here unless it gets real buggy at night. There'll be a little flurry at sunset, and then it'll be done. Yeah. Okay. I suppose I should do introductions. That's Wes. Hello. Wild Bill. That's Wild Bill. Howdy. Everybody knows that guy. <laughs> Keeping it PG. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Because we'll put some rods off that point, but then we'll spread them down this bank. Here's the tent we're not gonna use. You guys struggling over there? We're getting it now. Okay. Well, you guys ready to try and get a daytime one? Yeah. Okay. That's probably mostly me. Wes. Just so you know, Will, 80% yep. of the time, if it happens, it happens quick. What, is that they're either there or they're not, huh? They're, they're there. Every spot we fish, they're there. Just most of them don't care. Ooh. I don't want a bullhead during the day. The thing with the water back, that's better bait. It takes the chlorine out, keeps them. It's like crack. For green it gives them electrolytes. It's what green sunfish need. It's what plants create. Yeah. Oh, that's the one right there. Yeah, I think so. I don't feel confident about any of them. I know the odds. The odds aren't good. <laughs> Let me throw yours out, right? Oh, I don't Give you a medium gill. Oh. I kept him off the floor. Why don't you go chase those? I might do something. That's the one. Yeah. Go down. He thudded it. Yes, he did. It's nice when you feel it through the bites. Come on. Uh oh. Come on. Oh. Well, he's in the stuff. He just popped out. You want him? Take him. Get him, Will. Oh, he crushed it. Here. I got this one. Either. Yep. You got to get him to you. Pump, pump, pump. All right. Net. Net. Up top. <laughs> Keep him off the boat. Will. Step up here. Keep him off the boat. Man, he crunched that thing. He did, he did. That was the classic. All right, he's going to run. Confidence now, Spencer. Oh, he ain't huge, but he's a good one. He wasn't the 50 that lives here. No, but he sure hit it like Yeah, he did. 
<laughs> There's catfish. Crunch. <laughs> Straight out of Texas. <laughs> I got your ready. Oh, that got me all How's jittery you? the way you hit that thing, How man. Trip? Well, the first. There's nothing on these, right? I can grab them. In the Use your fingers, they got not your thumb. Like sandpaper. Yep. And, and just hold it firm, because if he thrashes, that's what'll get you. If you hold it firm, you're fine. Oh, he's got a. A spawning mark. Oh, spawning mark. Well, well, how would you describe this experience? I mean, it's it's pretty badass, man. It's really fun. Beautiful country, too. I uh, I don't know. When they hit it like that, I get all jittery. <laughs> <laughs> good? Yep, we're good. Let them go. Yeah, I think so. You got to revive these, or they're pretty sturdy? They're pretty sturdy. Yeah. Usually they'll split. Like that. Yep, just like that. Well, you dropped them in kind of like a bowling ball, but sweet. <laughs> What's the what are the odds of that, man? Oh, uh, I said pretty low. If you're gonna get him, that's that's usually the way it goes. Agreed. Uh, he's rehooked, ready to get back out. He's still alive for the moment. I like how he hit it and just sat there. Yeah, yeah I like the boom. Yeah, that was cool. You didn't have to go anyway. Like... <laughs> Tired of looking at the spot. You want to go across the river and see what that looks like? No, it's going to be the same but opposite. <laughs> right? Whenever you are. We are floating. Plenty of quill back here. That's not their name. Quilly Nelson. Quilly Nelson concert going on right under the boat. Well, I'll be the guy who steals the bullhead out here, I suppose. He ain't no magnum, but he's a good one. Would gladly take infinite amounts of that bullhead. That rat holder's gonna be bouncing. He drifted about 75 feet already. No big deal. I hope so. We got five rod holders. I just created number six. Tried and true. It is the tried and true, no doubt about that. Let's put one of the nicest baits on one of the lightest rods. Sounds like a great idea. Okay. We got fire. Fire's ready for maximum enjoyment. Like I said, good stuff. I wanna say I'm joking, but there is a raccoon on my boat. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I really wish you would have been joking, man. <laughs> That's a raccoon on the boat. I've been, I've been in with the wildlife lately. This in? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is a new level of wildlife in. Hi, buddy. Get out of there. Do it. Do it. Gracefully. Thank you. So gracefully. Hi, buddy. I'll see you in November. Yep. <laughs> uh, you guys have triscuits? <laughs> Did I hear something about ham salad? Yeah. I really thought you were joking. You were like, oh, there's a there's a raccoon in the boat. Oh, you were so casual about it. I thought, okay, it must be normal. Coon on the boat. No, that's 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 a first. The mosquitoes are biting, so flat means the flatheads are biting. This is your guys' cue to make fun of me for my stupid, cringy intro. That's where I insert the cricket noise. 
We're going to try to catch some big fish. We got good baits, and I don't know. I like this place a lot. We'll see what happens. So let's go. How far away from that flathead are we? 103 feet. So he's in the log past that. So we'll fish this for a minute and then uh, tie off to that log and then try to fish that one that we marked. That'll do. He'll do. Just a cute little guy. Oh, that worked out about as slick. That's my hidden talent. Is catching things that pe fall out of people's hands or my own. Especially fish. Spencer's known to channel his inner blue heron. That's right. What's the secret with the bees? How can you run the bees on some and not on the other? It just makes noise. Also, if you run in that rattle, it keeps the rattle right off the top of the hook. Looks like a Christmas ornament. I want to see one hit it like that one did yesterday. That was, that was awesome. Yeah. That was a good one. Really. Face. You guys ready to move? Yep. Me too. Probably use the electric. If I was smart, I would have rigged that one while we were waiting, but I'll do it at the next spot. Oh, I had a brush trout and it shook the hook. Those things will happen, bud. You like that? It's good control. That flyhead was right there. Right off that yep. nose and that. Yep. Didn't see another one, but that don't mean he wasn't there. So we'll try to bonk him on the dome. Kind of like we had to do with them sunnies. Bonk him right in the mouth. Well, on the root wad. Still on it. I think. Maybe. We'll let that sit there, see what happens. You ever had it like as soon as you toss it? Not a lot, but every once in a while, and it's sweet when it happens. I had one where I threw it out and uh, I had the rod in my hand and I was putting it in the rod holder and then boom! But just one. That would be fun. Mm hmm. Oh, that, that still stinks. The trap No, the, I had that chunk of cut bait that got stuck in here and then baked in the sun. And I didn't realize it till the next day. She's still ripe. Oh, you gotta tell people, watch how we do it down here, because of that, that flavor. Yeah, it's you, gotta, fate. you gotta soak the hooks in something rotten. You need green hooks. All your hooks have to be green. They <laughs> won't bite anything but green hooks. Why can't you do that anyway? <laughs> if they aren't chartreuse, you will. If it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use, bud. Everybody knows that. They made a saying about it that rhymes. It's got to be true. Shut up. I never have, dude. Seriously? There's been days below some of our dams where you'll see hundreds. I watched one hit carrying a, a carp, and he about, he about didn't make it. Came down, nabbed it, and he was... He was going forward, but he couldn't get the elevation. And I thought he was going to run a dam, and he veered off at the last minute out of sight. All right, one minute. And we're going to go set up where we're going to fish. Get out the bone yard and get in the good stuff. Well, it's real nut. Apparently that flyhead does not care. How solid is that? Well, that's fairly solid. Oh, about lost him. Back to my talent of catching dropped things. It's what they've called me my whole life. I want nothing but giants. Can't ask for much more than something like that. Yeah. He, he's just angry looking. Is that their favorite bait? It's my favorite bait. Is it so active? Yeah. They just seem to like them. That took a minute to hit the bottom. I like that. 
Must be in the right place then. Hope so. We didn't get one last night. So that wasn't ready. Now we wait for hours. Yeah, get him. Yeah, you got him. <laughs> Keep that line tight. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I got that quicker. <laughs> I think it's a chan, but keep on the what side is he gonna be on? He took off like a bat out of you know what. Yeah, he sure did. Just like all these gnats. Spencer's got his light on. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> they know. They've been staging in this maple tree. Since oh, I got the net ready. I should probably get net. Oh, he's over the top of the other ones. Yep, bring him on. Bring him all the way over here. I think. Yeah. Him either. He feels heavy, but there's a lot of current ripping around. That's this true. Side. At least Will got skunk set video or pictures. Just oh, I saw that sunfish <laughs> fly out of his mouth. Just a beast of a channel. Yeah, that's a good one. All right, bring him a little further. Oh, he's got some heft to him. Yeah, he's just a beefcake of a channel cat. Yep. Easy. He's salty about it. He'll get over it. He smoked him. It's just a beast of a channel. That's that's a big one. I haven't caught a big channel like that in a minute. In this river especially, they don't grow like that large often not the fish we're looking for quality fish but not the fish we're looking for i think he's bigger than seven or eight but he's got a noggin on him i can't it's crazy Look at the bumps on him the bumps and then the nub in there and then the extreme nubbin right there it's spawning in the rocks it's been battling it's a rough life down there man you ready to go chief he's oh, ready he's Oh, all the way under the timber. All right, now, draw it up. now give me an ugly one, uglier one. I got him. How'd that come out? That was a flathead for sure. Gosh. That sounded like a good one too. Yeah. Maybe, I mean. Line bounces like that and don't get the hook. The only thing I, I mean, that's a small bait too. I'm hoping there's bite marks. Of course there's not, because it was in his throat. Shoot. Shoot. Do they feed again like that or no? Once they get scared, they're done. He's probably done. But you never know. He felt that metal though. It was in him for a minute. Sharpen the hook. What in the world happened there? I don't know, man. That's the end of the video. I can't see. I'm assuming you're there. Fishing's been tough. Or flathead fishing's been tough. At least on me. Maybe I suck. I'm going to work on it. But I uh, hope you enjoyed that video. Appreciate you guys tagging along. We got more stuff coming up as long as fishing doesn't suck. And, uh,. I don't know. That's it. If you want to check out my podcast, it'll be in the description. If you don't, that's cool. I'm just glad you took time to watch. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant. Mm -hmm.